Hello everyone. So today I am going to take some markers that I got from the Dollar Tree and put them to the test and see if I can use them for calligraphy and brush lettering. Now these ones are brush markers. So they do have the brush nib and they're great for, as it says right here, hand lettering or calligraphy. These were a dollar each. And these ones are a double-sided marker, but this one has like the broad side. So the nib kind of looks similar to a Crayola Super Tip marker, and you can use Crayola Super Tip markers for calligraphy. So I wanted to put these to the test and see if these work just as well. Um, this is a set of eight, and I got that for a dollar, or I'm sorry, it's now a dollar twenty-five since they raised their prices, so a dollar twenty-five. And then this is one, I use these outline markers a lot, and so I wanted to see if this one was similar in quality to the outline marker that I use typically. So first, let's try out these. INC brush markers and I'm going to use the same kind of paper that I would typically use with my other brush pens to that way I can put them to the test fully and make sure that it's fair. Okay. So let's see when I first look at it it has like a pretty large nib so probably similar to a Tombow or maybe a Karen marker. All right, let's test these out. Okay, so my first impression of them is that they kind of remind me of like a cheap set that you would buy on Amazon, which is kind of what I anticipated. But when you write with it, the nib does not bounce back very well. So as I'm writing, you can see I even have like some shaky strokes right here and it's because the nib isn't really bouncing back and holding its shape. It's kind of forming to the pressure when I put pressure down. So um, that makes it extremely difficult for beginners. It's also difficult when I'm doing the upstrokes to feel any kind of feedback, meaning the tip is not very firm. So I can't really feel when I'm actually writing with my pen tip to the paper which makes very inconsistent upstrokes. And also because as you can see, the nib is already kind of bending a little bit. That makes it so that you can't get those nice fine upstrokes. You'll get thicker upstrokes similar to about these ones right here. And again, that was only the first time writing with it. If I wrote more with these pens, then it would probably continue to ruin the nib. So um, most of the time with brush pens, I always suggest using smooth paper, but when I'm blending, I do use a thicker, like a watercolor paper, just because I do a lot of blending and regular, um, this is Canson XL marker paper. It won't hold up with blending. So um, let's test some blending here. I'll just go from red to orange. Okay. So I'll, I'll show you what it's like on the marker paper, what I mean by it doesn't blend well. Their marker paper absorbs quickly and it's thinner. 
So um, what can end up happening, this one actually doesn't look too bad, but what can end up happening because the paper is so thin is it will start to pill the paper. So you'll start to get little um, pieces of residue of like the paper on there. So not too bad for blending. It did dry fairly quick. Um, I will show you guys the other colors just so you can see. I can't imagine these lasting very long, but for the sake of coloring, blending, even lettering for, you know, just practice purposes, just practicing writing your letters, I think they would be just fine. But nothing compared to if you really want to get a good brush pen, then I would spend the extra money on like a Karen marker, Karen markers. That's my favorite. Personally, I think that you get a lot of markers for your money and they last an extremely long time and the nibs don't, they won't end up fraying like this one. So overall, I just think these are meh. I wouldn't repurchase them at all because it's just kind of a waste of something that I'm never gonna use. Maybe for the kids, maybe for a teenager if they're just learning, it would be great. I mean, you can't beat a dollar twenty-five per pack. So if, if they're just experimenting, I think it would be great. All right, let's try out these. Okay. So like I said, these are just um, double-sided, like it's not made for brush lettering, but the nib looks very similar to a Crayola Super Tip, and I, I do use Crayola Super Tips for calligraphy. So let's just try these out. Okay, and first impression, this marker is already drying out on me, so it's probably not a good sign. However, let's try a different one and see if they're all duds. Okay, so this one is better. However, what I do like about these for calligraphy is that the nib is firm, so when you are doing the upstroke, it's nice and thin and you do feel that feedback. So as you can see in comparison, you can see my upstrokes are a little shaky there, but with these markers, you can actually feel when you're putting pressure down on the upstrokes. So I actually do like that a little bit better with these. Dollar Tree. Okay, let's just, I'll just show you guys the other colors and I'll see if any of the other ones are dried out since that first red one was dried out. Yellow. Okay, this green one is also dried out. <laughs> I don't know if I just got like a dud pack or if they're all like this. Let me know if you guys try these out. This blue one is also dried out, so that's real nice. Okay. 
This purple one also dried out. And the brown is dried out too. Okay. So one thing that I was thinking of is since these were in the package like this, they were probably hanging this way. And I don't know which side, whether it was the broad side or the fine line side was pointing up, but I'm gonna test the other sides too because if this broad line side was facing up, then it could have dried out because anyone who knows me knows that I tell everybody, if you have a double-sided pen, it has to be stored horizontally. Not It can't be vertical because one side will dry out. So let's test out the other side and see if it's dried out too. Okay, well, that is dried out. So I guess these pens are just... not that great or I got a dud of a set. Yep, purple dried out too. If you by chance take the chance on these and get them just to see if they're dried out just like mine, let me know because I want to know if I just got a bad set or what because honestly I would think that this is a great pack to do calligraphy with like worksheets or just practicing your letters. I think it's got a nice firm nib. So it's easy to do those upstrokes and downstrokes. However, if all your pens are gonna be dried out, then obviously I wouldn't suggest it. So let me know down below if you guys end up picking these up and if they're a dud like these ones. Okay, and last but not least, I'm gonna try this outline marker. These are super fun. I absolutely love these. But I've gotten many sets of these on Amazon and they are for sure hit or miss. So some are good, some are bad, some clog like crazy. Um, I'm gonna have to activate it first, so. Whoa, all right, activated right away. So let me start on here. My first impression is that I hardly see any of the silver. I see a lot of the pink outline, but I don't see a ton of silver. So let me shake it and see if that helps. You really have to be careful with these because they can splatter if you open them. Also with these pens, they have like a really strong odor. So just heads up if you get this pen. Okay. So not as much silver coming through. Let me shake it a little more and see if I can get it working better if it's just me not prepping it enough. So I'll be right back. All right, I vigorously shook for a long time. So let's see. And I don't really see a difference. Let me show you guys one, a, an outline pen that I have that does work. So this is the more 
And these actually are not that pricey on um, Amazon. So it's actually a steal of a find anyways on Amazon. So this is what like the other outline pens look like. This set that I have. You get like a super bold and shiny silver. And then there's like a tiny outline of the pink. So it's not like everything is just pink. There should be more silver coming out of the other one. So I don't feel like those are very good. So overall, actually my favorite product from the Dollar Tree were these markers right here. If they hadn't been dried out, they would have been perfect for calligraphy and comparable. They're actually comparable to the Crayola uh, Super Tips. Whoops, I snagged one of these in there. So yeah, let me know if you get these and what you think of them or if you have tried any other Dollar Tree art supplies and you find that it's comparable to the big name brands. And I would be happy to test it out too and let you guys know my thoughts.